Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. Today I'm going to do rust repair. It's been a long time since I've worked on a newer vehicle, and uh, it has. I don't know what you can get and what you can't get, but, but what I do understand is that you can buy cab corners for this truck. I do not have them. I'm not running, going, getting them. I'm just going to fix it. Uh, I do know one thing for sure that the battery must be unconnected on these newer vehicles. They have a computer in them and it was a big deal to work on them and uh, you could ruin the computer on it. But basically I have a cab corner there and that probably would scare a lot of people to fix that. And um, that would probably scare a, lot of people, scare a lot of people. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to fix it right in the, in the, within the hour and put the pieces in and show you how easy it can be done if you want to fix it. Let's face it, if you want to spend the money and go get the panel, have at her. I don't know if you have to wait for it. I don't know where you would get it, but you just go and do what you need to do, and that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to do a little rust repair, and um, I'm gonna, we're going to do it together so you would know how I would do it. As I look at that, um, there's a lot of shape going on there. There's around here, there's down here, there's back here, up down here, a lot of stuff going on. But what I do, what, what I see is, is I see if I if I make this shape here first, the shape here coming down here where the body line is, if I make that shape here first coming down, following the door and going down to the bottom of the sill, um, that would be a very easy piece to make. Uh, this piece back here where it's rotted up in here a little bit, we'll see what's going on, how far it needs to go, but I see one piece here, I see one piece here, and then one piece here. So I would make this out of three pieces. I'm just gonna snip this off for a second, get some rust out of the way, watch this here. Very thin, very thin. Alrighty. I see on the inside the door we have the inside lip that's gone. I'm gonna hold off for a second. Of, well, I can cut that off. I guess it does not matter. Bad metal there. Gonna cut it up a little bit further. I'm actually I'm gonna make a pattern first. I'll be able to put my paper against that. Get a pair of scissors. This is where I started is making pieces like this for rusty cars. And um, this is where I stared it. So I'm just going to run this paper along here. I'm going to. So, as if I was going to make the. Go to the sill. All I'm trying to do is make a body line with the paper. So, all I'm doing is making a body line with the paper. Angle this off. Setting it on there. Not bad. I'm going to come along the bottom, trace it off at the bottom where it looks good. I just traced it off at the bottom of the sill on the back side. Put that on the angle. Put this on the angle. That's my piece. How wide do we want it? I'd say we're going to want it at least that wide. We want to come down around here. We want to keep that sill all the way down. I'm just more or less guessing. I'm a guessing. Alrighty. And make it just a little bit bigger. And I drew it on there because I can always cut it back some. 
I'm gonna clean the bottom of that sill up a little bit so I can stick something to it. Let's cut our first pattern. I bring some metal over to get started with. It's close enough. Close enough. Not bad. We'll go with it. This is a farm truck um, that's used on the farm. I'm guessing that it got filled up with mud. And uh, what else am I gonna say? Basically, uh, it needs to be going over for inspection. It needs cab corners put on it. So it does not have to be perfect. It needs to be repaired. Get this up off the ground here. Ah. Just gonna straighten this out a little bit. Get it cut to length. I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. And the reason being is, it's because I don't want to spend a whole bunch of time in, on it. I just want to fix it. Using just metal around the shop, little scraps of metal I'm using. Haven't spent no money yet. All I'm spending is my time. Let's make this to go to shape. want that body line huh? that way up there yeah pretty easy to, to deal with the metal bad it's a little long underneath we can always cut it off we need that, but what I'm going for is the body line on the door. That's what I'm going for first. I need to establish that. All right, I'm, I'm good with that. I'm gonna clean this off a little bit and cut a little more out of here. Want to leave that for now, just for... Clean this up on this side. Let's stick it on. What do you mean by stick it on? Let's put to get the old welder rocking and rolling. Welder rocket and rolling. Um, we'll ground that sucker underneath here. I hope it's not in the way of the. It probably will be. Thank you, sweetheart. Jolene looks amazing today. She got some camo pants on today. She thinks I can't see her, but I can. Alrighty, on welding this truck, um, I'm thinking very, very quick bumps on the welder. 
very quickly. That's what I'm thinking. I'm gonna lay it underneath where I cut it off. I'm gonna butt it on there. And the reason being is, why not? Oh, gotta put the end back on the welder. I'm going so fast to put, to put the end back on the welder. Got no ground, and why not? We gotta get it down in there because we want that, we don't want to build it up too much. We're gonna have to fill it probably. Oh. Yeah, thin. Get it over here some. Rub down the side here. Get her tacked in place. Got to put a piece inside, so we'll just tack that along there. Just leave like that for a minute. Get it put down so it meets the door. Get a pair of pliers. To make it set where it's supposed to. I'm just trying to make it come out with the door, that's all. Here to tack it on. I cleaned up already. Alrighty, I will use. Probably a coat hanger to fill that in. Probably use a coat hanger to start with. Let's make the, this piece. Got my coat hanger ready right there. Put that down there. Let's make the other piece. Basically, we want to make it as quick as possible. Time is money. Time is money. Let's put this piece down here. Wow, that's rough too. Let's make this piece. A pair of scissors. Don't know if I'm gonna bother cutting that off or not. Marker. There's a hole there. We might put the hole back again, I'm not sure, but we'll just mark it up this side. Remember I said we had three different pieces going on there. This is the second piece that I see. I'm gonna take and take the grinder. Let's go up here a little bit. Seems to be okay. Take my scissors. One piece could be cut off. Just 
trace that from the back side. So we've got that piece. I gotta clean that. Just clean it off a little bit. Let's cut a piece. Perfect. So basically, I guess, I guess the ju the just of repairing this is finding the, the shapes to make it the easiest way possible. And uh, the three basic shape I showed is the outside one here, one in there, and then one to cap it off. And that's the three basic shapes that I see. If you try to complicate it and make a bunch of different shapes, or try to make a this and bend it over there, it's, it's a hard thing to do. especially when you use a grinder, a hammer, and, uh, and a welder. And basically that's basic, my basic tools is a... How did I put that on there? A pair of clamps. Down on the metal. Not gonna clean that all off. Um, this piece is probably gonna last just as long as the truck is. I'm gonna, I don't know. I can just clamp that on there for a second. I want to roll this a little bit because it looks like it wants to roll. Channel locks. Just take it off. You can see as I go up there, it wants to roll this way a little bit. So I'm just going to take the channel locks. Just roll this a little bit. If that did me any good or not, but I'm going for it. My hammer, just put that over here. Right. Just gonna squeeze it in there and see what happens with it. Down the bottom can be can be cut off at any time. Or welded. I got lots of metal down there to weld to. That's gonna be welded along the bottom. Alrighty. Let's tack it on. Turn the welder on.
Everything gets cleaned up as you go. You know what I'm trying to tell you. Got a couple wells to hold it in place. Now we can really start hammering it around a little bit. Let's put that one on there. And as I tack that on there, the weld helps hold it down. It does hold on nice. Just tacking everything for now. Another thing I know for sure too, you gotta be careful in these newer cars because there's stuff inside these things. You catch them on fire, you're in for trouble. How do I know? I've done it. So this is just basic rust repair. If you wanna fix something, find, find your shapes and then go for it. Could have cleaned that up a little bit in there. Grab my third arm. I'm going to hit it as I hold it. Get in there. That helped. Okay, do you Now we got one more shape to make. Let's take and weld that on the bottom. Good. Just tacking everything on, and then we'll go to welding it up. Now we got a third shape there. Shouldn't be so hard. We'll make a third shape. Going for it. I am going for it. Let's make a third shape. up at least that uh, high. All right, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make that shape. Just 
try to make it easier. Let me trying to find that. Scissors. Where are our scissors at? Ready for a leg. Getting closer. Get a piece of tape. I'm just going to tape this piece on that pattern just so I can get it done quickly. That's all I'm gonna do. the shape out. going to cut on the outside of the black line. I want to leave it a little bit big because obviously the pattern wasn't right on the money. And uh, that's how I'm, how I'm going about it. I'm going to leave the black line there. I can always shave some off. that black line but I didn't alrighty we got lots to shave off we're close no cigar Five minutes to fit.
that off. I'm going to scribe it one more time because we get lots on the outside. Actually, I'm not getting a good scribe on that. Nope, I'm going to leave it. Going to leave it. Let's cut this off. down at the bottom where we need it. Cut this off. It's gonna go on inside the line. Side there. Now, I'm going to come down here with my marker and I'm going to trace off what I think the cab corner should look like or how wide it should be. that off. Pack it on and then bring it together. This is actually like a little, <laughs> little game for me, really. Uh, and the game is to see how fast I can get it done, basically. See how fast I can get it done. That's the game. Hard to believe it's a game, I know, but it is. For me. Um. Just trying to put it in the right spot before I tack it, that's all. Baby trying to see how good I was standing on my cord, wouldn't you? Huh? She's trying to see how good I am. Just gonna attack it. Just gonna attack it. Yeah.
laying here. Bend this over a little bit, try to soften the corner here a little bit. I want to bend it a little bit. Got a soft corner going on there. I just want to soften that corner up a little bit. You see the metal coming together as I hit it. Softening the corner up a little bit. Good. Let's get this rock and rolling back in here again. Take that out too much. Hit it where it's tight. And then we'll hammer it a little bit. Just bumping the welder ever so gently. And the reason being is, I won't catch nothing on fire, that's for sure. Let's go along here. Should we get that nice and tight? I see turn hanger go. It's on the floor, is it? All right, glad I got you, ground baby. Find my own hit. Tack around a few more places. Where it's tight and right. That's how I weld up the corner with the coat hanger. Tack another place right here. Pretty well got it all tacked in place. Now we got a piece, 
inside the door that's got to be fixed. We have a piece inside the door has got to be fixed. Um, look at that now, would you? I love it. Just clean this off for a second, see what we got. make a corner. We can only go so far with the corner. I'm only going to go along with this edge here. I see that this is rotten off here. It's rotten down there. When I put the sill on, the sill will go underneath here and come up here and I'll fasten it up here. I'm thinking about taking this rubber piece as I just ripped it off. It goes on the clips. We'll see what goes on. But when I bring that sill up and onto this piece, I'm going to put this rubber right over top. It doesn't matter if it's down there or up there or whatever. I'm going to put it right over top of the sill so you cannot see where the sill was put on and I have to do no body work. I'll just spot weld it on, seam seal it. This is what I'm hoping. And then I'll put this over top so you can't tell. But I need this corner fixed before I can do that. And I only need to come up this far. So let's draw a corner here. I'm going to bring it down some because I don't need all that. That was just tracing, that was. No big deal. Just tracing. When I weld that up, I'll take my time and I'll just bump, 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 bump. What I mean by bump, just hit the welder so easy um, that it never even knew it got hit. We need yay much. I'm going to cut it off like yay. So, that's what I need. That's what I'm going to put on. And then I'll fill my piece in here after I get this piece. I'm going to take, cut this because I don't need it. See if I can cut it so it looks straight. Then my sill can come up and connect on my, on this piece. All right, let's cut this piece. Hmm, I just throw things after I'm done when I'm that pen. What? My marker. I just throw it somewhere. I did too when I threw the scissors down. I threw it. And I don't see it right there. You? Me neither. Someone on the camera seen it. There it is right there. Alrighty, let's make another piece. Using scraps is what I'm using, scraps. I'm gonna use this piece, and the reason being is I don't know if I have to go that long or not. We'll just use it. Using the straight edge. We'll weld that up solid. and then it'll be fiberglassed and filled. What I mean by solid is it'll be welded all the way around the whole thing. Something like this, this rush repair that I'm doing right now, you would want to make sure, or not make sure, but you would want to undercoat it after it's done, most certainly. Use an 18 gauge. Alrighty. 
ready to get our mirror going. Get our zip going, zip or uh, flap wheel going to smooth that off a little bit. Basically on something like this, also I'm doing the rust repair here, on something like this, you do not want the piece of material that you're making to stand out on the truck. So when you go to fill it, I've got it stepped back a little bit, I've got it stepped back in there a little bit, so when I put a little filler on it, I'm not way out above. And it's important because if I get it built out too far, then, it, then it's when you shut the door and you look at it, well then the cab corner stuck out too far. Not that that's my main concern right at the present moment, but it is a concern. Let's tack that on. So we need this piece. Fina, hold up a second. Stay there for a second. Now it's got a gap there, I gotta beat that. It's gotta be stretched. So in order to stretch it, I'm gonna do this. This makes it easier. And I was able to make it in one piece. Hey. <laughs> Give Mike's truck a kiss. Not what I want to do, but I almost did. No, I'm not gonna do that right a second. I'm gonna touch this with a hammer, get it in tight. Now all I'm putting this for is on is that corner and be able to put bring the sill up around and connect something to it. I have to have something there. Should have cleaned up maybe a little better around that, but I can clean it in a second. Alrighty. Let's hold this piece in. Wow, well, there must be some galvanized on these trucks. You heard it. She just keeps barking. Come on in, I guess. Come on in, Fina. Come on. Huh? She's a loyal dog. I gotta show my loyalty back. Basically, got to show my loyalty back. I'm going to push that on. Weld them together there. I'll have to fill that line up. That's not. That's no problem. I'm going to hold it and hammer it. That way that it's in tight. 
Stop it. Thank you. Take a zip pack, clean that up just a little bit. Tack that on a little better. There we gas. that tacked on better. I'm going to bring that down straight because this is down straight. Now I have something to bring my sill up to. Now I'm going to finish this line off. I'm going to cut that off. Any piece of metal will do. Nope. Any piece of metal will do. Just gonna stick that in there like that. Very fit. Cut on the inside of the line because I, I don't want all that metal. Just want some of it. This one. What I really want to see is I want to see the door gap. I don't need all that. I'm just going to cut it off right there. Come on out, baby. Come on out. Let's cut that off. Trying to burn some metal away there. Got too much. Push this in.
that tight. So basically, that's what I got going on. It doesn't look like much right at this present moment, but you can see when I weld that back together, I'm gonna to have a nice gap going on with my door. I'll, I'll have no problem making a nice gap going along there. I haven't got it built out too far, like it's not all clunky and bunky. Um, I'm gonna be able to, this shape here is co corresponding with this shape here going on. Box is gonna be able to go in there. We've got a new piece that goes up in here. Um, there's a little, it's a little thin there, so I'll probably use a coat hanger. I'll weld this, I will weld this all com completely up, all the way along. I'll use my air, because I will not want to catch anything on fire. And where this is along here, um, I'm gonna end up making this straight cut all the way along here, and that's where the sill is gonna come up and connect on. So there's one cab corner. Uh, it took, it don't look like it doesn't look like a million dollars, but if you take a look at it from here, the cab corner's on. I'm not sure how long that took. We've got one, two, three, four, five is a little piece. So we got that done in an hour. Um, we got all them pieces done. So we'll weld it up within, well, it will take me half hour to probably weld it up. And then we're on to the sills. Um, that's just basic rust repair as fast as I could do it. Um, yeah. You can do the exact same thing. Just figure out the shapes that you need. Uh, this is one shape, this is one shape, and this is one shape. And then just bring it all together and go for it the best you can. And basically tr what, what I'm trying not to do is make it all bulky. If you come this way, sweetheart. That, 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 that's one of the biggest mistakes when you make you can look at it this way. I haven't got it all out too far, basically. And um, that's room for once, once I get it welded up, then I'll be able to fiberglass it. That's where the fiberglass comes in. I guess that's why I always use the fiberglass because something like that, when you weld it all up, you never know if you have a pinhole or something and it could pop off and that's not what we want. Um, basically, you weld it all up, fiberglass it, undercoat it. So you come back tomorrow and I will cut probably the complete uh, sill off it. You'll see what that looks like welded up, basically. We'll weld that up and we'll cut the complete sill off it. We'll make two pieces for the sills. We'll spot weld the sills on and uh, get it rocking and rolling. And it's just basic rust repair. Did not buy anything. Um, did not basically look for anything to, to fix it. I probably could have got some some uh, cab corners, I probably would have had to wait and uh, that sort of stuff and I would have had to spend money. This way here I just took some scraps, quickly put it together and went for it. And um, so when it comes time down the road someone wants to restore this truck, well why didn't they put a kit? Well, I'm repairing it for inspection and I'm, I'm, I'm going to do as fast as I can and to keep the money down as low as I can. So we've got one hour in it, some scrap metal. Like, comment, share, and come on back. We'll be here tomorrow. Have a good one, everybody.